I guess, and you know, this is all this uh, here on Monday morning, this sort of Monday morning quarterbacking. Could he, should he have said, hey, wait a minute, um, I need the accountants to come here. I need to speak to somebody. But in fact, the card that he had said, and the winner for Best Actress is Emma Stone for La La Land. The reason there was a duplicate card is because the accountants, Brian, who you've seen on the stage, Martha is the other accountant, stand on other sides of the stage. They're on opposite sides of the stage. Uh, they are the, uh, you just showed the, the sort of poison envelope. Uh, let me take you through a, a, a little bit more uh, of this. These two, uh, the, uh, Brian there, of course, looks more like Matt Damon than Matt Damon does. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, you know, tout the fact that they're the accountants. They've been with the Academy for uh, 83 years doing this job uh, and never anything like this. Um, and, and clearly what, what took place was, was something of a mistake, and now uh, PwC has issued a formal apology mm. for the error. They have sent out a statement that has sort of ricocheted around the world where they apologize to everyone involved, and they say they're conducting a complete investigation to determine I've, how um, this could have possibly I, happened. I've actually got it here, at Sam. It says, we sincerely apologize to Moonlight, La La Land, Warren Beatty, Faye Dunaway, the Oscars viewers for the error that was made during the award announcement for Best Picture. The presenters have mistakenly been given the wrong category envelope, and when discovered was immediately corrected. We are currently investigating how this could have happened and deeply regret that oh, this occurred. I bet occurred. they do. Um, there's been a lot of conspiracy theories being banned about what really happened. Let's go through those. Uh, are, are, you know, again, we have the accountants who are saying, oops, it is our fault. They've apologized to everyone involved. But is it perhaps Leonardo DiCaprio's fault? Uh, social media going crazy saying maybe he left the wrong envelope on the stage after he presented the <laughs> award to Emma Stone or he left the wrong envelope opened uh, backstage. So is, is Leo getting the blame? If not, I referenced this before, Brian the accountant looks an awful lot like Matt Damon. In fact, so much so that they have uh, spent time and uh, photographed one another together. <laughs> Matt suggesting he could play Brian in a movie. Uh, <laughs> well, so it might be one now. That, yeah. Right. There sure should could be uh, one now. And then as you can appreciate, uh, the Twittersphere absolutely on fire about this. People just, by the way, at the actual uh, auditorium, and uh, at the time this all went down, I was in the press room, it, it literally erupted. You know, you, you occasionally hear uh, sounds when an unexpected winner happens. When Casey Affleck earlier in the evening beat um, De uh, Denzel Washington, people were surprised there. But when this happened, there was literally an audible scream. This whole group of reporters from all around the world just absolutely couldn't believe it. Uh, one very funny reaction uh, from our friends at the Miss Universe pageant. And they said, hey, wait a minute. You might remember the story when the American comedian Steve Harvey accidentally <laughs> announced the wrong winner yeah. at the Miss That's Universe pageant. That's a good pageant. tweet. So their tweet, uh, have your people call our people. They know about it. That's so and, good. Uh, so good. Uh, you know, people are, are, are so quick to press the send button. The moment that Moon, that, excuse me, La La Land was announced as the winner for that eight, 10, 15 seconds that they were the winner, several news outlets sent out stories saying, oh my gosh, La La Land has won. And so we have a La La Land poster, which indicates it was the best picture for, you know, approximately uh, eight <laughs> seconds. And uh, we also have a suggestion uh, that maybe there are political implications. Uh, this, uh, a mock, I believe, uh, from uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton uh, and uh, her suggestion as to what it might have been. Uh, this is going to yeah, hack by the run Russians. for a long time to come. Hacked by the Russians. Okay, oh, good. man. Thank you very Thank you much for indeed. Us. Sam, Go get some what a story. What a story.